been trying to come out for a while. <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> It, it just hit the back of the seat. I'm glad it got the window. <laughs> they usually just end up in the seat. <laughs> have won this contest all right and they are here this is three generations of mullets right here give them a big round of applause he was committed he went i need a mullet for mo party so we got justin peachy down here so justin you're here this weekend driving a viper right so you went fancy mullet you said you walked in your barber said i want a mullet did he look at you weird Yes! 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 Wait a second. Last year you shotgunned a beer, didn't you? You did. I knew it. Okay, this is awesome. Yes, that's really good. He's got his people up here. I love that. All right. <laughs> the tall boy on a cam show. All right, so I assume you're friends because you both made sure you're wearing the right shirts. I saw you last weekend, you were here at LS Fest, and you had your long hair, and, and the kid said, our grandpa's going to do it right for the contest. Yeah, I got it. I, it, I, it. I, got it right? I agree. I mean, you're winning already. Yeah. Ladies, stay away from the man in the wheelchair. All right? I'm just saying. <laughs> Ma'am, who are you? Where are you from? They call me Trailer Park Tammy. I'm from Bowling Green, Kentucky. <laughs> <laughs> Tammy, you, you look lovely. I, I don't know whether um, the fanny pack is my favorite thing or the gloves. I gotta keep my stuff in there. Your stuff? Yeah. You got candy and stuff in there? Stuff. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so uh, how long have you had this lovely mullet? Well, I've had it since Amazon delivered it. <laughs> All right, big dog, where are you from? What's your name? Michigan. So that's a Michigan mullet. Yes. You know, it, that thing is, is it's pretty pro. I mean, I'm not going to, oh my God, you got a man bun in the back of it too. It's a mullet, not a mullet. Oh, a mullet, not a mullet. Wow. I, okay, give him a big round of applause. All right, so how long have you had your mullet? Two years. I mean, it's a stylish mullet. I'm saying, like, it's good. Is it? Did you curl it, or is it that way already? It's just curl. Oh, that's awesome. All right, give a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. All right, T-Rex. What's your name? Where are you from? I'm Elias. This is Abraham, and I'm from Tennessee. And uh, how long have you had the mullet? Two and a half years. All right. So uh, tell me, what uh, what kind of things do you like doing besides eating chicken wings? Eating chicken wings. I happen to know Elias. I will tell you that this kid will mow through a pile of chicken wings like none other. He will have barbecue sauce from his eyebrows to his chin. Am I lying? Where's his dad? I am telling the truth, right? 100%. It's awesome. All right, you think you can win this thing? Yes. You brought props. I love it. All right. Why'd you get them all? Down there! Go for it! Yeah. Yeah. You got a cheering section up there. Hey, you know what? Some of y'all have spent like four and a half dollars on some sunscreen. Like this kid is like a tomato right here. I'm just saying. Your denim vest on and everything. Um, did you said you had some moves you wanted to show us, right? Okay, you want you, you can show us. Show us your moves. Wow, dude, it's like you, Bill. All right, hey, good job. Are you ready? You think you can win this again? Oh yeah, all right. All right, and what's your name, and who's this little guy compared to you? My name is Cameron, and but I can't <laughs> Oh, they're scheming now. The brothers are scheming. I, they, they're doing, they're, he lives in Kentucky also. So, you won this before, right? No, you won. 
you won before first year, so do you think you can win this again? Yeah? Now, why did you grow a mullet? I like it. He's committed to the contest. All right, good job, boys. You can't stop laughing. Look at you, but you got it. You're fluffing it. It's good. All right. What's your name? Where are you from? Caleb Butler from Glasgow, Kentucky. Dude, a lot of Glasgow going on. Is Glasgow like the official mullet capital of Kentucky? Where is that? How many of y'all are from Glasgow, Kentucky? Let me hear it. Hell yeah. All right. What, where are you? Okay. What? Uh, how long have you had it? About a year. Yeah. You think you got something for the rest of these guys? What do you mean by that? I mean, do you think you? You think you can win this thing? No chance. No chance. What's your name, Bubba? All right, this is Tanner. Where's Tanner from? Tennessee. Tennessee. How long does he have the mullet? A few months. It's pretty good. It's a good mullet. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give everybody a big round of applause. Now our judges are going to review. Give them a big round of applause. You are going to look like a badass in some heat waves right there. Oh, that is awesome. Yes. And the ceremonial beer chug didn't hurt either. A Corvette driver driving a Viper in the number three spot. Justin Peachy, ladies and gentlemen. That dude is stupid fast on the autocross. Our, our single quickest lap. Yeah, maybe that's what it is. He was quicker in the Viper this weekend than the Corvette last weekend. I think it's the mullet. I think it's the mullet. Yeah. Trying to defend his championship, but the runner up. Oh, look at that. Camshaft and a crown and some heat waves. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. All right, folks, I gotta tell you, this one doesn't surprise me. He said he thought he had it and that he did not permit out of Johnson's horsepowered garage, baby. Look at that. Best real mullet, dude. Winning. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause to all our real mullet competitors. I never thought I'd say this, but the bunlet is gonna win it. A man bun and a mullet all in one is our winner. Hey, Trashy Tammy, I mean, Trailer Park Tammy, whatever, same thing. <laughs> Don't be a poor sport, okay, woman? You think it's rigged? I think it's not. I know. Does anybody know who, who Trailer Bart Tammy actually is? Yeah. Carrie Strange, she's the head of all of our registration for the entire event, all the events we do here. You probably saw her and her team. Some of the girls are down here, raise your hand. The girls of registration are awesome. Carrie is always a good sport. Last weekend, she wrapped herself in bubble wrap and then plummeted down the hill on a Power Wheels for the Power Wheels race. It was epic. That was the T-Rex's name. Abraham the T-Rex. Oh, I love it. It's great. Gas pedal kid winning the deal. Number four spot. He waves. He's going to look stylish. Help cover up the barbecue sauce on his face. Okay, cowboy boots, straight cut jeans, and straight up southern. Finishing in the number two spot right there. Give him a big round of applause. Hey, Dad, you ready? Yeah! Come on, winner. Winner, winner, chicken dinner, cut off jeans, boots, a big long mullet, and he went full redneck on the farmer tan. It's going to be awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, give a big round of applause to the kids. Like, huge round of applause. It's gonna be like the first scene and the beginning of the intro to Dukes of Hazard when the Duke boys 
turn the corner and go, oh no, and they gotta go for the gravel, right? And they take the big jump and there's the dirt flying and the thing looks like a million bucks going through the air with the front end all wadded up already from the jump and then it lands and it folds it up like at a 90 degree angle and it bounces and the next thing you know, the nose is all perfect again. That one, where they had to do three cars to make one jump. Well, it's gonna be great when it leaves the ramp. It's gonna be not nowhere near great when it lands right here. Because it is going to wad the front end up like a champ. And they are all here. We've got Daytonas and Superbirds and a van. We do, look, I, I see it right there. Wasn't here last night, but it's pretty rad. I gotta tell you, I kind of approve of it. I really do. It'd be better if that tarp in the back was full of water like a hot tub, I'm just saying. Our driving out there to see where he's gonna start on the drag strip for the jump, because he is gonna come down the drag strip, up the little rise, as soon as the car is settled, He's going to hit the ramp. Give him a big round of applause, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, yeah. Look at the ladies riding in the back of the van truck. I like it. Out of Knox, Indiana, it looks like. That thing's cool. I like it. Well, you know, we appreciate our, uh, our paramedics, EMTs, and fire support. Uh, we don't anticipate needing them. I love it when I have them and don't need them. Yes. You know, I mean, we've got a, a we got an automobile that runs on gasoline, and when you when you crash it in the ground, there's a chance of fire. Because that's what's happening. We're going to jump it, and then it's going to crash into the ground. It well, the gravity sucks the car really hard. <laughs> gravity has a huge effect on vehicles. Physics with Mr. Smith. <laughs> so I'm furious in a bunch of cool movies. Yes. You jumped the TRX trucks before anybody else, did a lot of cool stuff with Dodge over the years, you've done tons of Dukes of Hazard jumps. Um, how do you prepare mentally when you get down there and you get ready to hammer the throttle? You know, down there is not as hard as two hours ago. Really? Because two hours ago, I'm looking at the schedule and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and it seems like a year and I'm yeah. hungry and I'm tired and yeah. I just want to be done with this. Yeah. But once I get all my safety gear on, we have everybody in order. The longer that we talk about it and set it up, the better I feel. Because right. I've got such a talented people around me with everybody here from the track, everybody from FM3, everybody from the fire support, and, and uh, heck, I got you here. I mean, look, hey, come on. I like that. Right? Um, Wants to thank Michael uh, McKee senior, Jr., or Sr., his sons Michael Ray and Billy McKee. Man, what a great looking Super B, Martin Wimberly, and Jody Wimberly. Bench seat interior wants to thank his wife Jody, his sons Logan and Reese. Best paint, stunningly perfect. Josh, or John Lasky, John Beautiful Car, wants to thank Frisco Hill Auto and Exalta Paint Company. And I like it. The car is evil, and I like it. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause.
but I so hope they fix it and bring it back next year and we jump at 150 feet. Are you ready for burnouts? Uh, my knowledge is a Hemi, 5.7 Hemi. I bought a few days ago. Last year I brought the Chrysler up here that was like running on like three and a half cylinders. Yes. Maybe this one will be a little better. Okay, gotcha. I have to tell you, there's a lot of smell coming out of this car right now. And I don't believe it's you. It smells like old people and cigarettes. All right, ladies and gentlemen, give them a big round of applause as we start hazing them. Second gear, third gear. Oh, it's destroying the inside tire. Look at the drone following around. Listening for tire popping. I've lost him. Don't mind me, I'll be the guy over here huffing tire smoke. Did y'all know that our uh, our horns over here, they're nitrous powered. They are. We got them on, the, so the Holly guys hooked it up. The reason it's hooked up to the truck is to power the solenoids. It's awesome. It's a 6.4 Hemi and we're either gonna pop the engine or the tires, one, two. It's got a three liter Whipple on it. It's a 6.2 Hemi and you said you're gonna either pop the motor or the tires. I love this guy. Give him a big round of applause. All right, head on over there. I did, I did not do that. Delta, that was fun. Blue tire smoke, I love it. Nobody knows color tires. He is working with fire as far as the battery. He sounded 
a little close. I'm not gonna lie. Wow. Dude. Hey. I know. I'm telling you what. It smells great though, don't it? Don't you feel like you're on an alien land right now or something? I think we are. I think we all had a little too much of something, something. He, he hit a cone. All right. So you put like a 275, 60, 15 that's fairly worn on the back of this thing. What's your name? Where are you from? James Phipps from Valdez, North Carolina. He's got all the gauges on top of the dash of this Dodge truck. What's under the hood? It's got a 5.7 Hemi in it, supposedly. I don't believe you. No? It's all it has. Okay, it's got a 5.7. You think this thing's going to burn the tires till it blows them off? It will this time. All right. He is willing to sacrifice quarter panels. Go see Morrison. Let's see what we got. All right. shows up with a newer car that's nice that it's gonna be so unfortunate when like it blows the tire which by the way is brand new I mean brand new brand new brand new and I think it's like real it has stickers on it and I think it's always like unfortunate when that tire blows and rips the bumper cover off and tears the door up but you don't seem to be afraid of that at all I can't be afraid I slide back in Clarksville so I gotta show everybody what I'm do all right, we got the 5.7 in the automatic. Let's hear it, ladies and gentlemen, for the green charger. Head on out there. I do like the monkey on the side, I'm not going to lie. It will never be the gorilla charger. It's always going to be the monkey charger from now on. Next year, he's going to come back to defend his title. He's going to be the monkey charger again. It just is happening. It's like when you get a nickname. You don't get to pick it. You do something dumb, and your friends give you a nickname, and that's what you own, right? What's up, big dog? You you said you weren't gonna win nothing and you won stuff. I got fifth. You got fifth, I know. Yeah. I know, and so, hey, did y'all get shirts and stuff and hats, apparently? I gave mine away. You gave yours away? Yeah. That was nice of you. But you do have a hat. Yeah. All the kids got awards for the bullet contest. I bet you guys got a lot more stuff than a free shirt. Oh, you start off with a good Don't let it shift that much. Before. Is new tires a good car or a bad car? That's the question. I mean, like, he put a new set of Federals on this thing. He put a heat wave glasses on and, like, looked all cool and thought, I'm going to go with you. Smoke show coming. Uh oh, he's on the head of the tracker. They don't like that. I feel like he needs to start traveling across a little bit. Oh, there we go. Changing direction a little bit. Let's hear it for ladies and gentlemen. Big smoke. All right, ladies and gentlemen, does anybody think he's now the leader? No. We all still think the blue tires on the Dakota are owning it? Yeah. You are my people. Yes. This thing looks like a burnout car because it's got wee little bitty tires on the back. All right, the Eddie's East Side Garage, or East Side Auto, Busted Radial Garage. All right, what's your name, where are you from? Chris Mills, Brooksville, Kentucky. All right, Chris, what do you think? I, you got little tires on this thing. Are you prepared to kill it? I'm gonna give it a shot. All right, he's got 
What's under the hood? 383 and a 727. All right, let's go. Go see Morrison. I think this thing, I think this thing's gonna pop the tires. It's great having you here. We appreciate it for sure. Well, we we got uh, we got to tell you, the mullet won it. Give him a big round of applause. He's gonna go out there. Morrison's gonna give him the pep talk. We're getting this thing drug off the racetrack, off of the Dakota. Yes, and a what? Oh, and then the rocker panel off the Magnum. Okay, those dudes are awesome. I love them. Five dollars. Sparkman will sell them to you for five dollars. For the golf cart. Gonna drag him away. Excellent. There we go, people. There's stuff hanging out of that car. That makes me sad for him. That I like. Let it eat. Let's go. Uh oh. Oh, wah, wah, 
gentlemen. I'm disappointed. I think he is too. He wanted more than that. to say a big block baby home built 440 out of a motorhome big block or heavy or die that's my motto I'm just telling you right there all right what trans is in it and it's got a uh, does that have an eight and three quarter in the rear a nine inch or a Dana Dana all Mopar I love it all right so you got street tires on it. Do you think you could destroy these things? I don't want to destroy the fender, but I know I can destroy the tire. It's fine. It's tucked in there far enough. It'll never hurt the fender. Trust me. It's an RTSE. Oh. Why are all mo cars rare? Why can you not just give me a 318 car nobody cares about? I swear to God. Okay, so are you ready to send it? You gonna set it on the limiter? He's got air conditioning going with the Milwaukee fan to blow the smoke out. That's genius, my friend. Oh, and he's setting the timer so he knows. All right, go see Morrison. Let, I want you guys to tell him, blow the tires, tires, blow the tires. Yes, that thing sounds awesome. I forgot to ask him how quick it is. Runs and rumble. It sounds awesome. Run, Morrison, run. You know why Morrison's taking a while? Because he said that the General Lee would have which are spectacular, and they smoke real good, and they make all kinds of noise. This thing's tall, though. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna put on a show here for the crowd, that's why we're here. You know, Woo! We're here to go by Dakota, that sort of place. I took that, uh, give us a ticket to the Holly Sniper on this set right here. I got brought it out of retirement. Brought it out of retirement. All right, ladies and gentlemen, who thinks that the lifted four by on Boggers is gonna put on a show? Yeah! I'll go 
to see Morrison. I, dude, I'm all in. I I will tell you that we recently had four-wheel drives doing cyclones out there. at our 6 a.m. meeting tomorrow morning. <laughs> badges on the front of it. It has a it has a flipper latch to hold the door closed. That's safety third, people. Um, so tell me about this thing. I know there's a story. This car is from Arizona originally. It was in a ravine. It got washed out. Every time it was flooded and rain, it pushed further and further down this way. A couple of guys were crazy enough to say, let's pull this thing out of here, put a big block of four speed, take a drag racing. Sure enough, I ended up with it somehow and uh, bought it for you guys so I can do a burn. Dude, we love it. Let's hear it. Come on, baby. Come on. There isn't a straight piece of sheet metal on this thing. Except, well, the hood is probably the best part, and I know it didn't come with the car. What's under the hood? It's got a 383. I have no idea what anything about it is, but it's got a four speed, so it's fun. Does it have any holes in the floor? The best part's the floor. Okay. Dude, it's got it's got NASCAR boom tubes hanging out the side. It's great. All right, big dog, go over there and talk to uh to Morrison and then I want all of it to blow up. Um there Jake hands through the windshield, which makes things awesome. Oh yeah. It does give it character. Okay, you know when you do Lexan windows, you gotta have a piece of metal up here to support it. This is cut with a torch. It's awesome. I mean, I think the plexiglass is also cut with the same torch. Uh, it's great. I want to think the door closed, but I don't want to be rude. Oh my God.
world out of a wash. Person who can knock the Dakota off the throne. And I don't need a toilet for that, what I do. Somehow, even though we were so far behind earlier, we are on schedule right now. I have no idea how that happened. Wait a second. Another Dakota. This one is the Hell Coda, and it's it's blue. You don't have blue tire smoke though, do you? Make it blue through the sp oh, because you have fancy lights. Fancy lights. All right, are you willing to blow the tires off this thing? All right, who thinks the Hell Coda is gonna blow the tires? All right, we've got to see. Ghosty Morrison, I gotta tell you, this thing's nice. Like, I would feel bad if I tore the quarter panels off of this thing. And then the Magnum and the Charger are like the two that are up for second. So we're gonna have to vote, so pay attention. But we're gonna watch this one. It's not the monkey. It was not the monkey, it was a gorilla. <laughs> It is. One's just bigger. Like I said, you're learning, big dog. All right. Are you ready? second place let me hear you if you think the magnum that blew both rear tires and started us off is in second place let me hear you okay. so it is the dakota and then the magnum right now but we have one more come on tell them to hurry up come on green i swear to you at some point, we're going to figure out how to make people sign waivers without being in it. Oh my god, it is a hooky X. Oh, who wants to see this thing? Like, lose it all. Yeah! Hooky X in the house! You guys had some fun up there in the dirt, didn't you? There's a great off-road course up here. We love having you guys up here, the Hooky X crowd. Takes well, norm, this is actually a cheater rig because it's off road rig. The normal hoop DX is like, let's take an old taxi cab and let's saws all the fenders off of it and put a 29 inch tall mud, mud terrain on it and send it. But this kind of started out as a off road vehicle. Are you prepared to do a big giant hairy burnout and blow the tires off of it? I am going to spin the tires with everything that sits over the I don't know whether to feel confident or uh, or sad right now, but go see Morrison and let's make it happen. Send it! Right. Are we ready? Let's see some Jeep tire smoke!
that that is now our winner. Oh! Who thinks that the blue tire smoke Dakota is still the winner? Yeah! Okay, who thinks that that is now our new second place? Yeah! All right, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. First place in the Dakota, second place in the Hoopy X. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much for coming out here today. I love you guys. Thank you so much for having fun, poking fun, making fun, having a great time with us. Drive home careful. We will see you.